Okay guys, we just learned about osmosis. Now we're going to look at some special terminology attached to osmosis or the use of osmosis. Okay, so here we have a little diagram in a box here. We've got a cell and it's sitting in some solution here. Now if we look, there's a whole bunch of dissolved particles in this solution outside the cell and not so many inside the cell. When we have this sort of excess of solute around the cell, we call that a hypertonic solution. Hyper meaning above and tonic being the dissolved materials. So it's got an excess amount or an above normal amount outside. Now this has an impact on a cell. Okay, we're going to assume then that in this case, these particles that are dissolved in here, they're not allowed to diffuse across this membrane, but water can. So we've got to look at it this way. We've got a high amount of water or high concentration inside and a low concentration of water outside. So through the process of osmosis, water is going to diffuse from inside to outside the cell. And depending on how hypertonic the solution is, the water might just rush out of the cell. cell. And this causes something called plasmolysis. The cell actually starts to shrivel up as water leaves and the volume of the cell decreases, but the membrane stays the same size. This can be potentially fatal for a cell over a long period of time because it just will not have enough water in it as that water moves out, trying to alleviate that concentration uh, gradient there. Now, occasionally we can put ourselves in a hypotonic solution. Hypotonic solution means that there is a below hypo uh, amount of solute, a below concentra a low concentration outside the cell versus the high concentration inside the cell. So again, we would expect particles to diffuse out to alleviate this hypotonic solution, but it can't. Instead, what's going to happen is the high concentration of water outside the cell will diffuse into the cell to alleviate this a high concentration of solute inside. So that means water is going to rush into the cell. When it does this, it's going to sort of like blow up like a balloon. And if it gets too full of water, as that uh, water diffuses into the cell, the cell could actually rupture and burst. So if you ever go to the hospital and you have to have like a blood transfusion or you need to have fluids pumped into your veins, you never want them to pump in a hypertonic or a hypotonic solution because this could kill you. It could cause your red blood cells to either plasmalize or cytolize over here. Cytolize, cyto means cell, lysis means to break. So it literally means it would break your blood cells. Instead, what hospitals are going to use is an isotonic solution. In an isotonic solution, the concentration of solute outside the cell is the same as inside the cell. And this allows water to move in and out of the cell sort of freely and equally. So you're going to have a healthy cell maintaining homeostasis and its normal functional size and shape.